Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2021 Pigeon Forge Rod Run Fall event, and I came across a very cool 1963 and a half Ford Falcon I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Dean, what a cool car, brother. Yeah, uh, thank you. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 63 and a half Ford Falcon, and I took a 2014 Mustang GT, Took it all apart, took all the pieces out of it, and then I just built a new frame and cut the body off the Falcon and just put it all together and made one car out of it. So it wasn't really like a body swap, it was more like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, yeah, it's a full frame car and all the pieces from the Mustang are in it, but it's not like I just put the body down on top of Mustang. Yeah, it wouldn't just fit. No. Now, how much work was it? It was work, but I'm a fabricator, so it's easier for me to make it fit than it would have been to make it back stock. I got you. So, uh, I mean, it's a year's job for the whole thing, but uh, well, it's hard for other people. It probably was easier for me to do it that way. Right on. And has it been something you thought about for a long time? No, I bought the Mustang mainly to get the motor and drive train and all out of it, and I got to looking at all the nice pieces I had there with the seats and dash and everything and I started measuring out and I figured out I could cut it all I cut the floor pan and all out of it and welded it right into the Falcons I just figured so it's out. actually got the 014 floor pan the floor pan and, and firewall no kidding mm -hmm. so and then then I don't know the new Mustangs full of chassis cars or no I run they got unibody and I cut the bottom of the unibody strips out of it and I run the square tubing right through that and then so it's square tubing from front to back but it just runs right through the Unibody tubes that are in the you, Mustang. Like the subframes from yeah, the front subframes. Back. I yeah. You. Have you done anything to the motor? No, it's stock, but it, it runs good in that little car. Yeah, it barely fits, man. It had to be a yeah. job too, right? Well, I built a whole car around the motor, so I mean, okay. it, it wasn't that. It wasn't like I slid the motor down in there. I just kind of built it. Was the Falcon around. bigger than the Mustang or the Mustang? Smaller. Bigger? Smaller. The Mustang's a foot wider on the track width, so uh, How that's. How you compensate a, for that? I had them. Um, make narrow eight frames I made all the front suspensions I had them narrow everything up I got rid of the struts and all that the Mustang had is all on eight frames so I had to make short eight frames and narrow everything up that's why it's got such skinny tires in the front because that's all that fit into there I got you did you have to narrow the body then no the body is all stock width and height and everything I added the spoiler to the front and the rear but I got the rest of the body stock did you make any kind of modifications from the original Falcon on the body just added the lower valence and the splitter and all on the front, and then I put a rear spoiler on it. I tucked all the bumpers in tighter, but the actual rest of the body stock. Man, what a cool car. What size wheels and tires does it run? I got uh, 17s on the front end, rear 17 12s on the rear, and uh, I think they're 17 by four and a half or fives on the front. And do you have all the options from the Mustang? Do they all still work Every, in there? Everything, even the airbags on the steering wheel, dash, all of that's there, all the cruise control, air condition, traction control, ABS brakes, no everything that was on that Mustang is on. Wow, it's fun yeah. to drive. Oh, real fun. Now, I saw you out on this trip the other night, so you are driving this car, so oh, yeah. this for show. No, I drove it, I drove it up the tail of the Dragon yesterday. I mean, we run, I think it's 318 turns and yeah. 11 miles one way, and we've done it coming back the other way and running hard the whole time. But, I put 4,000 4, miles a year the last two years. It's got, I've added 8,000 miles on it. Cool. Well, man, I sure appreciate you bringing it to the Pigeon Forge Drive Run, brother. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself being here. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So there you go from the 2021 Pigeon Forge Rod Run, a very cool 1963 and a half Ford Falcon Street Machine. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.